Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial on Media CDN setup. We are going to set up Media CDN for media file delivery. We will have the objects stored in Google Cloud Storage bucket. It will it is going to be a private bucket. We will have some video file, maybe HLS encoded content, and we will use Media CDN to deliver it to the end users. So the very first step. For this demo, I already have a media CDN bucket created where I have HLS encoded content, which I have already uploaded uploaded here to save time for you. We are going to use this as a source, and we will create media CDN setup to deliver to the end users. Now let's go ahead and click on Create Service to create media CDN setup. We'll give a service name called Dumb Tutorials Demo and click on next and now we are going to add multiple rules first rule is the host rule that means what host name are you going to use for delivering the content to the end users so in this demo uh, we might use just the ip address instead of the host name but uh, in a real world scenario you end up using something like uh, vivek.com or media.vivek.com media.example.com and then deliver files from there you also need to have a valid SSL certificate configured in Media CDN to deliver the content. Uh, for the simplicity, we are just going to use star as of now. And we will add certain rules. And it will ask you for the priority. So first priority would be say 100. And this is going to be rule for say master manifest file. We will fetch from the origin. Now the origin is going to be my media bucket. So let's say media origin. The GCS bucket is going to be the origin. But if you want, you can also have an IP address, a fully qualified domain name, reachable over internet for media CDN to be used. So we are going to use a cloud storage bucket. We'll browse the GCS and we are going to use this particular GCS bucket for this demo. We are going to use HTTP 2 protocol for reaching out to the origin. Please note that Media CDN does support HTTP 2 or even quick protocol uh, for the end users and for the origin it does support HTTP 2. So we going to use 443 port on the origin and you can configure failover origins also uh, depending upon certain criteria you can configure uh, origin settings like retry conditions if you want to do a redirect maximum attempts connection timeouts max attempt timeout response timeouts re timeouts if you don't understand any of these things just leave them as default and finally click on create origin so this origin got created and you can see advanced configurations. So we are going to add a header action. This is going to be a response header to add. And I'm going to add a header called uh, say x cache status. And the value would be in curly braces cdn underscore cache underscore status. Now this header will give you the debug information in the response headers which will tell you which pop was used for deleting the content and also whether the co objects were served from the cdn cache or did it went back to the origin this is done we are going to add one more item we will say uh, i don't want to add header action but i'll say route action item you are going to add a cdn policy and since it's a VOD content, video on demand, it's going to be static in nature. So we are going to cache everything. We will force cache everything for a longer period of time. So there are various cache uh, modes available. You can cache only static contents like images, JavaScripts. You can uh, rely on origin cache control headers to be able to cache the object. Whatever origin decides, media CDN will honor it and will cache it accordingly. In force cache out, it is going to cache everything with whatever value you are going to say. Or if you can also configure bypass cache, but we are just going to use for cache all. And we are going to cache it for a day 864 double zero seconds. Uh, 
then there's something called cache key uh, cache key is a unique identifier for every object uh, it's unique because it ensures that your object is not uh, mixed with the competitor's content or other customer's content uh, by default uh, host name and the path are part of cache key but you can optionally include additional parameters as well uh, for the simplicity we are not going to do any of these things we're just going to exclude query string as well because it doesn't matter whatever query string you're passing it's going to eventually hit gcs bucket and fetch the ob objects uh, doesn't matter what query string is it's always going to be the same object so we are going to exclude query string then uh, this is done a negative caching means uh, do you want to cache uh, negative response codes like 404 403s i don't want to do that i'll say done and finally i'm going to add one more route action called course policy so these are cross origin resource sharing headers uh, for media content you do require that and i'm going to configure them i'm going to say uh, max age is equal to 600 second default cross origin maybe a uh, star just for testing allowed method i'm going to select all which is star allowed header again i'm going to select star and exposed header is also going to be star and click on done this is configured and finally you also have an option to do customize http method filtering this means which http methods you want to allow so uh, this is a media content from uh, delivered from gcs bucket so i'm just going to leave it default with get head and options method i'll just say okay and click on save you can see that there's an error in my setup you can click on go to issues and it says you must provide at least one match condition now what is the match condition here so match condition is whether you can match on a path prefix or full path match or path template match now this is a beauty file very plain very simple we are not going to uh, have multiple rules if we can simply cache everything for a longer period of time for the demo uh, purposes i have given one day caching that is eight six four double zero seconds and path template match would be just put an asterisk or maybe a slash all right so everything is uh, path prefix match is going to be slash everything start with slash is going to match on this rule and all these setup will get applied to it click on save and finally you can add multiple rules like this you can match matching on a host uh, you can match on criteria like uh, prefix you can match on a header you can match on the query string parameters as well so it is very flexible for customers to configure the match conditions as per their need but this is very simple setup vanilla setup you're not going to do any fancy jazzy thing you're just going to save it click on next and it asks you whether you want to enable ssl certificates so for this demo we are not going to use ssl certificates just we are simply going to enable quick protocol and http protocol for end user side and there's optional uh, options available for you to create uh, security policies also uh, suppose you want to uh, allow deny certain countries certain ip addresses uh, you can do that you can match certain reference so all those uh, armor rules you can set up here but we'll just we are not going to use any of these we'll say none it's always a good practice to enable logging and its value lies between zero to one zero means zero percent one means hundred percent so if you do 0.5 it's going to log 50 percent of the request it's going to sample it but uh, i'm going to put one i do want to capture every request and finally i'm going to click on create service and it'll take some time and we'll get deployed i'm going to pause the recording i will resume once it is ready for for you to test while it is getting deployed i have also started the cloud shell because we do need to run a command uh, which we're going to see in a couple of minutes so the setup got deployed uh, and we can see that an ip is allocated to this distribution now this is an any cast ip an ipv4 and ipv6 is allocated to the setup let's copy this ip and go back to the configuration and we will go to edit we will go to routing and instead of star 
we are going to put this IP address as a host true. Now you know that in HTTP 1.1 onwards host header is mandatory. This IP address will be used for testing purposes and it will also be passed in the request as a host header so that we are going to leverage that and we are going to test the setup. Again click on update services and it will take few more few minutes to deploy. While it is getting deployed we are going to enable media CDN setup to access the GCS bucket. This GCS bucket is a private bucket. No one can access it. Even media service scanners cannot access this bucket. So to enable the access, we will go to the documentation which talks about configure and origin for media CDN. And here there is a section called configure private cloud storage buckets as an origin. So you need to run this command called uh, add IM policy binding which is doing nothing else but it's just giving a read access to media CDN which is the service account for media CDN as a role call object viewer to Jesus bucket right so we have to enter the bucket name our bucket is tears of steel lemon and I'll just paste it here and it is asking for project number. Now, project number can be seen here in the home page. So, if you see, my project number is shown in the home page of the media CDN, home page of the project itself. So, this is my project, project number call 56 something. And it also shows project ID. So, we don't require project ID, we just need project number. We are going to paste the project number here by clicking on the pen pencil icon and we will copy this command. This command got copied and we are going to run this command in the same project. Please note, be careful that you are running in the right project. So we will paste this command and click enter. It might ask for authorization for the first time. And once you authorize that, it will get executed. It will give read access to the media CDN service account so that it can read the content from the bucket. Uh, it says, okay, there's this, there's additional space here. So I'll just get rid of it. It should work now. Yeah, it got executed. Now we'll wait for a moment. Uh, once, once the setup is ready, we are going to test this. So we are going to test the stream or HLS content which is present in this bucket. We'll fetch the manifest file URL. The URL is say copy gsutil URL. And you don't require the bucket name. We will use the IP address for the media CDN which will be shown here and that we will use for testing the uh, media content. This is the IP address and we'll say HTTP colon slash slash and we're not going to use HTTPS because there's no SSL certificate as of now. We'll use a test player that I have built uh, CDN test dot in slash multi and we'll also open inspect because we'll try to see the headers response headers now uh, it has got uh, course headers and it is playing http content hence i have opened the base page also on the http protocol otherwise the browser will block the cross protocol content click on play all and we can see that it starts to play the content so we'll just mute it and it's playing well uh, remember we also added something called um, x cache status header so we will see whether it is working good or not so we will say manifest file this is the very first request and the header is not sure if you can see let me increase the font size You can see that the X cache header X cache status is here. So 
it went to multiple pops multiple cache layers and everywhere it is getting cache mess so uh, it went to uh, ma pop which is chennai again it went to ma pop second layer third layer finally uh, from bomb which is a long tier cache it went to the origin now uh, this was the first request since it's it will not be served from the cache I should disable the browser cache so that it does not pick the objects from browser browser cache and it goes back to the CDN. So we'll do a play all again. We'll just clean this and do a play all. And now you can see uh, the responses from manifest file. It says X cache and it got a hit. That means it was served from Chennai pop and it is hit in the cache. So that means the objects are now served from the CDN cache all the responses are now getting from the cdn cache you can see yeah hit any object you see it's all hit now hence the response times is really fast the video will start playing really quick no rebuffering and also uh, the the end user's experience is optimal so I hope you understand the concept in this video where we started putting the objects in GCS bucket, which is private. We have created media CDN setup. The CDN is going to get read access to the GCS bucket by executing the command that we gave. And now it is able to play the content on the player. Thanks for watching.